Recently, Nerf released the replica rifle that the M41A used in the Alien movies, and in that uh, toy it's got a counter on it which uses, counts down how many bullets you've got. So in this video we're going to make a similar sort of counter you can put on your own Nerf guns. Now the counter uses a 7 segment display, and 7 segment displays have been around for donkey's years. Uh, if you look on Wikipedia, the patents go back to 1903, and they haven't changed a hell of a lot since then. Essentially all it is is 7 or 8 LEDs packaged to look like a, a figure 8. So it says 7 segment because mainly it is 7 segments but the extra uh, decimal point is, makes it 8 in total and we can you, you have to turn on each uh, LED individually so it's not like it's got a positive negative and a zero connection it's you've got to control each LED sort of individually. So this is what they look like when you buy them. They've got the 10 legs underneath. The two center legs are usually a ground. They're both connected together. You don't need to wire them independently and each one of these uh, pins um, translates to one of the LEDs in the display. So the immediate problem is that if you want to control this unit you've got to have a output pin of your microcontroller connected to each pin to turn it on individually. And that's not really ideal because this one you're starting off with seven and then you've got another one that's 14 that's 14 pins you're using just to control this seven, two seven segment displays so if you're just going to run one seven segment display this is what it's going to look like it's got a hell of a lot of wires so you've got the arduino there you've got the seven segment displays you've got all the resistors to current limits so you don't want to burn it the leds and the power lines as well so we've got two four six eight ten wires coming from your Arduino just to drive this one uh, seven segment display so if you imagine that tried to cram that whole thing into a, a little Nerf gun you're going to run out of room pretty quick so what we're going to use is we're going to use something called a decade counter and sort of refresh the screen a, a seven segment display uh, individually a sort of persistence of vision sort of thing it'll flick around each one and it'll be flashing so quickly that you know it's going to look like it's solid so to do that we're going to use something called a 4017 decade counter so here's our decade counter it looks pretty scary to start with but it's actually quite pretty straightforward we've got a, a clock pin a reset pin power going in and all these outputs and each of these outputs it's got it's got uh, 10 on this one uh, we're only going to use seven so we've got the other few we're not, we're not going to worry too much about and for the, with this unit we'll be able to drive two or up to maybe even four counters but we only want to run two at this stage so how this works is we've got the the clock uh, pin which i showed you in the previous picture and as whenever we um, hit the clock give it a positive voltage logic high it uh, turns on each individual output obviously it'll go all the way to nine but uh, for this project we only need seven so i'll just send an example we're just flicking through and just imagine these are led lights they'll be turning on individually so the next thing we want to do is we want to hook it up to our uh, seven segment display to turn on individual leds so for example if we just hit the clock once it would turn on q1 which would turn on a which would turn on the top um, segment of the seven segment display but what we wanted to do is we wanted to do is turn on say b and c so it's turning on these both these segments at the same time we obviously can't have two lights on at the same time because it's going through each one individually so we're going to pulse through this uh, so quickly that it looks like it's actually on so so here's a theory we're sending down the clock pulses and while we're sending down the clock pulses for segments we're not interested in we're going to uh, not use not supplied with the ground for it to complete its circuit to turn on so we're going to have q1 off q2 on q3 on and then it's just going to cycle through and leave the rest of them off so that'll be our our digit one so this is obviously in slow motion so when we speed it up a bit more you sort of get the look that it's starting to flick through a bit quicker and what we'll do next is just turn it on uh, turn these lights on so quickly that our eyes can't detect whether those lights are flashing on or off and it will just look like a solid one so here on the last screen this is cycling through so fast we can't see a change that looks like a one and these other leds are, are, are turned off because we don't need them on for this particular number so i can't take full credit for this um theory i just was frustrated with the fact i wanted to get this going and i didn't i don't want to use all those pins and i 
Googled sufficiently to find this um, GitHub. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description, but he um, supplies a code example of how to get it all up and running, just displaying one number, and also a wiring diagram. Now, I mean, that doesn't look pretty. It looks like it's quite complex, but it's pretty straightforward, and certainly when you connect it all up, it looks like, like spaghetti. But um, I've got this one here going. You can see on your screen there it's sort of flickering through that's because of the refresh rate to me it looks completely solid but to you it looks like it's it's flicking so and on a that's just the camera this when you watch those videos of the helicopter and the blades are staying still it's some sort of effect it's just the rate of the, uh, the video so although he has supplied us with the um the full code to display a number that's it's all it does really it does displays a number but what we want it to do is we want it to count down every time um, we pull the trigger or we detect the bullet going out the end of the gun so we have to actually we have to add a code some extra bits of code to the get to provided so when we click a button it counts down and then we can reset the counter and those sorts of things so i will supply that code on my jasonwinfield.nz uh, website so go check it out there but i'll just demonstrate this one working so you know at least it works and then um if you put a circuit board designer, you can actually get this quite small. It's only got three, it's, aside from the seven second display, it's only got like three components and you probably don't even need the resistors, to be honest. So you probably just need one component. It's smaller wiring, it's the nightmare. But um, I'll do, I'll set up, the, set up the top down and we'll have a look at it. So here it all is up and running. I mean, the beauty of this whole thing is that you've gone from almost 20 um, wires down to uh, five, so you're winning. Um, I'm using an ESP32 for this, but you could use any Arduino, maybe an AT Tiny, just four, four pins, something really small. Um, we've got two resistors here to stop you burning out the LEDs, but I don't think we actually need those because these LEDs are quite dim. And they're 4017 sitting here in the middle, and like it does look like a lot of spaghetti, right? But it's just the way it's hooked up and all you PCB board designers out there would be able to make something way cooler, I think, um, and just get really, really compact. So I've got my button here, so whenever I push the button, the counter will go down. And you've got to be pretty, pretty quick on that one. Um, and then if I want to reset the counter, I've got another button I can hook up to reset the counter, but at the moment I'm just rebooting the board to get it back up to 34. 34 is just the number you can set. So with no code, you can set the maximum and the rounds you want. So you just put in whatever your mag holds and, um, and it'll just count down. So it's sort of going blank and you're doing, seeing weird things on the screen, but for me it's just flicking through really, really quickly. So how would you trigger it? You can either trigger it using just a the gun trigger on your um, nerf gun but of course if you hold it down it'll go straight down to zero pretty much so it'd be best to trigger based on the bullet coming out the end of the uh, out of your gun so it actually knows the bullets come out right so i would be using like a um, proximity sensor or something like that that'll pick up the the detectment of movement of the bullet coming out of the gun and that'll be the way to go so uh, a little at tiny eight pin micro this on the circuit board you get this pretty tiny and um, uses hardly any power as well because these LEDs are cycling off as much as they're cycling on. So I'll just go straight from, so it goes down to zero, I'll just go straight from 34, obviously you can go up to 99 on this. Let's see if I can do it. So I'm not getting anywhere near the flashing you're seeing on the video because it comes down nice and smooth. So you'll have to make one just to make sure. So that's the example of the project running. I'm not going to go through all the details of assembling it. It's not good viewing. So check the show notes for the breakdown and the guide. It's really something you need to sit down and, and do piece by piece because the wiring is a little bit funky. You can make the project for a, a few dollars. These components I've used in this project have uh, been around forever and they're worth dollars 
maybe a few cents to tie it all together. Anything other thing is the microcontroller you, you choose. You use anything you can program with Arduino is going to work. Uh, you may even on the uh, Nerf one they can play sound as well. So in this other project I made, I used an MP3 player so you could store recordings to a micro SD card and play sounds while you pull the trigger at the same time. So there's all sorts of things you could you could do. So if you enjoy making projects like this, consider subscribing or checking out my other builds. I've got tons of things I've made similar. So thanks for watching.